The theme of this album is, as the title says, Black Renaissance Woman. It's about African-American women who really came into their own in the first half of the 20th century. The Black Renaissance is an era of cultural rebirth, and that translates into the music that we hear. It's an album that reflects the empowerment of women at this time. I think of the Black Renaissance as an era in the same way that I would the Romantic era or the Baroque era. I'm really interested in the underheard voices of women in music, especially around the first half of the 20th century. And so as I was looking into this era, I found that not only were there um, individuals composing such brilliant music around this time, but individuals that really knew each other. And this album really delves into that community and it shows the ways in which they collaborated. Um, it shows how they influenced each other stylistically. And so this is about recognizing um, roots as well as celebrating accomplishments. With this music that you hear by Florence Price, Margaret Bonds, Nora Holt, Betty Jackson King, and Helen Hagen, you're really hearing a community of female composers who were incredibly empowered and had a lot to say. The piece by Florence Price that's on this album is her piano concerto in one movement arranged for two pianos. And one of the things that I absolutely love about this piece is that she would perform it with Margaret Bonds, who's another composer on this album. In fact, the music that you can hear in the background is her troubled water. And so there are real narratives of sisterhood, of connection, of uplift, of empowerment. And that's really what this album is about. I think of Margaret Bonds as a daughter of the Black Renaissance. Her mother's home was one in which so many composers and performers and teachers would pass through and they would stay with Margaret Bonds and they would teach her. A lot of what she says as a composer really reflects this dynamic environment that she grew up in. It's really exciting to present the first recording of Helen Hagen's piano concerto in C minor. She composed this in 1912, which is when she was studying at Yale. So if you can imagine um, a black woman studying at Yale at that time really shows that she must have made her mark on the classical music scene. And unfortunately, it's the only piece of hers that survives. So it really means a lot to, to bring this piece to life more than a century later. With Nora Holt, the fabulous Nora Holt, I never know where to begin. Um, the more I learn about her, the more I'm just blown away by the incredible life that she led. Her life was, in many ways, very modern. She really lived by her own rules. The only piece for piano solo that survives is a piece called Negro Dance. And that piece is with us today because she published it herself in a journal that she created called Music and Poetry. Like Margaret Bonds, Betty Jackson King was also a daughter of the Black Renaissance. Her mother was deeply involved in classical music making and really instilled a sense of, um, of musical passion and, and pride in one's work um, within Betty Jackson King. And with her four seasonal sketches, what I'm really drawn to is the way in which she so vividly paints these impressions of the seasons. And she does so with a very broad musical palette.
Each composer, Florence Price, Margaret Bonds, Nora Holt, Betty Jackson King and Helen Hagen have their own voice and yes, I'm bringing them into conversation with one another, but you can hear their distinct identities in their music. And this album really is a celebration of the, the variety um, housed in the Black Renaissance era. I think what this album shows is that there is a much larger history waiting to be told. And when people hear this music, I hope that they are inspired to learn more and maybe even to find more as well so that we can continue to, to shed light on this history and shed light on its music as well.